Hello, welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations with leaders, such as Karsten here, uh, from global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. So I'm Candace Sipos with JSA. I'm here with Karsten Winter, uh, president of EMEA for Vertiv. Welcome, Karsten. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. we're so glad to have you. Um, so we'll, we'll just jump right into it. You just, uh, Vertiv just released news yesterday, very exciting news um, about your expansion in Norway to support Green Mountain's growth. Could you tell us a little bit about that news? Yeah, it's, uh, it's very exciting, actually. Um, we've been working together with Green Mountain for quite a few years now, supporting them with uh, power solutions and cooling solutions. Mm -hmm. um, as uh, a lot of people will know, Green Mountain is a super green a co-locator that is actually uh, taking all the advantages of uh, green power actually coming out of uh, out of Norway here. Um, and this particular uh, this particular collaboration actually concerns a data server 140 megawatts that they're actually deploying as we speak, and um, we found it absolutely necessary um, to invest in the country, mm -hmm. uh, actually to invest in collaborations with uh, Green Mountain. Uh, so we've actually established a, uh, a company. Uh, pretty much uh, working around uh, the sites that we're going to build, and we're hiring uh, a lot of uh, very talented people, all actually aiming to uh, to support Green Mountain in the build of that uh, particular site, which which is in a few phases. But but um, it goes our relationship with Green Mountain goes goes back quite a quite a while. Excellent. Love to hear that. Great uh, partnership uh, with such an incredible leader on both sides. Um, so, and, and I know you were also on the keynote panel uh, yesterday um, yep. about sustainable operating models. So is there maybe uh, for folks who weren't there, especially, could you give us a key takeaway from that? Well, um, I think it's fair to say that um, as we actually discover in this, uh, in this event, but also in the past, obviously every Every player in the data industry wants to be a corporate good citizen, and mm -hmm. uh, obviously Vertiv is, uh, is one of them. We have released uh, now two ESG reports where mm -hmm. we're actually outlining all the efforts we are taking in order to uh, obviously participate and um, and take a responsibility for for the planet and everything we do. Um, and uh, the latest ESG report is actually uh, outlining a number of uh, elements where we are uh, specifically focusing uh, right now. Obviously, there are elements around our products and solutions. There are elements mm -hmm. around uh, our people. There are mm -hmm. elements around all our operations, uh, elements around our neighbors, uh, obviously elements around uh, diversity, mm -hmm. equity, and inclusion, and obviously governance across all of it. Um, <clears throat> the report actually dictates and, and demonstrates that we have actually formed a, an executive council that actually is rooted in the very top of the company that helps us actually to ensure that we are following through with all those actions that we want to take. Uh, obviously, with the new legislation coming uh, into place in EU from 1st of January 2024 with the CSRD reports and everything around it, um, we obviously are already taking measures to make sure that we are uh, paying attention to our carbon footprinting uh, and actually are in the process of uh, making sure that we will be compliant with the legislation that comes in place uh, mm -hmm. in just a few months. Um, there's one element, obviously, which is very much around energy efficiency, which is something that obviously is on the mind of this uh, industry as a whole. <clears throat> and we have taken uh, not only just measures around our own operations, um, examples of that is actually that we are now implementing and have implemented in some of our plants, actually, renewable energy that actually uh, is supporting uh, to, to run the plants. Uh, in our entire fleet across EMEA, a car fleet across EMEA, we have a lot of service technicians out mm -hmm. there. Uh, supplying and supporting our customers. We're making sure that everywhere where we can, whether it's an infrastructure locally in the country, we can actually enable um, uh, electric cars. Mm -hmm. As an extent, we are looking into how we're actually lightening all mm -hmm. systems. So there's a lot of actions actually happening around all our own operations and of course around products and solutions uh, and actually to try and help our clients, as it was mentioned yesterday in the panel. Also, they actually want to make sure that they comply with scope one, two and later scope three. Mm -hmm. And that actually does imply that they need to actually also take responsibility to demonstrate carbon footprinting uh, uh, from their suppliers up and down. And as mm -hmm. we are one of the biggest suppliers in this industry, obviously we have a responsibility uh, and duty to make sure that we're actually delivering that. And we are already in that process as well. Excellent. So, so it's a lot of things happening as it stands right now and obviously a, a lot more to come as we, as we move forward. Excellent, excellent. So yeah, you mentioned the sustainability report that came out recently in May um, that Vertiv put out. Is there anything else that you want to talk about uh, from Vertiv's sustainability standpoint? Yeah, I think, um, um, so obviously as we're a technology uh, developer and provider, uh, we spend a lot of time trying to identify how we can actually 
uh, raise the bar mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, reducing carbon footprint and actually making sure that we are doing everything we can to actually preserve uh, the environment in any way. And um, so some of the elements that we're actually looking into is also if we could actually find uh, alternative materials to actually build data centers uh, and could be alternatives to steel, mm -hmm. currently assessing various materials. We had some great discussions yesterday with some clients who has also been on a, on a little bit on the forefront of that. And we are actually probably uh, going to do something together here. Mm -hmm. Um, but it actually also encompasses uh, making sure that we are, uh, you know, not trying to actually use absolutely more power than is needed in the data center. And we have mm -hmm. solutions here. We're looking into cooling solutions, obviously, now with a higher density coming with AI to try and find could there be alternatives to, uh, to, uh, to all these uh, very poisonous refrigerants and mm -hmm. could there are other alternatives, ways of cooling. But there's one element which I think in terms of overall sustainability, which is very important, which obviously... One element is in the environment, but a very important element is also around the S mm. and taking social responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, and we are doing uh, a lot. I'm actually mm -hmm. spending uh, at least uh, once a quarter, uh, I go to uh, pretty much most of our biggest uh, sites around, uh, around EMEA. And uh, we are taking a lot of action to make sure that we are uh, taking good care of our people and their families, mm -hmm. needless to say. Um, we're actually formulating a DEI uh, uh, governance and mm -hmm. uh, and employee groups to make sure that we're actually um, sponsoring actually uh, diversity in every way we can. Mm -hmm. In my own leadership, we have many different nationalities. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a lot of things actually happening within Vertif actually also to make sure that we are also paying attention to the S in the ESG. And of course, the governance, I think, are already touched. So mm -hmm. it's very exciting times in many ways. Um, I think it, uh, it does demand uh, a lot of responsibility, it does demand uh, and calls for a lot of uh, actions to be done. Mm -hmm. We've outlined a lot with Invertif and uh, we're in a good way to actually uh, make uh, a lot of those happen. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Vert is such an incredible leader in our industry. And I see see you all everywhere at all of these conferences. So, you know, you're, you're definitely a thought leader and also an industry leader. So um, thank you for joining us today on JSA TV. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Yeah. And to all of our viewers, thank you for hanging out with us today on JSA TV here live from the ESG Summit. Happy networking. Thank you.